Many of us face adversity on a daily basis, some more than others. But most of us will never know what Greg Nichols experiences every day. Jim Henderson has the story of this determined 21-year-old from Kenner. I'm addicted to it, I'll admit it. You know, I'm addicted to it, and I love it. He sure got inspiration from somewhere. I don't know if it was from prayers or, or where, but uh, it's really fantastic. They had said that uh, if he hadn't been built like he was, he probably uh, died in the, from the shock of the accident. Greg Nichols isn't your typical bodybuilder. You see, Greg's a paraplegic. He fell over a third-story dorm room balcony at Northeast Louisiana in August of 92. The fall severed his spine. Greg was a bodybuilder before the accident, and doctors say that probably saved his life. Ever since then, Greg's pressed onward. I laid all the marbles on the table. I said, hey, this is, you know, I couldn't do anything about it. It was a freak accident. I couldn't have stopped it from happening. Uh, this is how it's going to be, so this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to live life like it's going to be and go on from there, you know. I'm very, very proud of him. He's, uh, he's got a lot of strength, mentally and physically. He was handling his uh, life real well before the accident, and uh, it was kind of a uh, situation after it happened. You don't know what to expect, and uh, he's done very well. Uh, he's been a real inspiration for everybody around him. In February, Greg capped off a year and a half of therapy and rehab by winning the first ever National Wheelchair Bodybuilding Championship in Florida. He won the heavyweight division. Man, I had a great time. It was, I mean, you could tell, on, everybody's telling me, like, man, you could tell you have a good time on stage. When I'm on stage, I mean, it was just, it's such a natural high. I mean, you're on stage, you got all these people, and, and you're up there showing what you work for in the gym, you know, and that's the, that's the ticket. Hit it. When Greg says he's not about to let his disability handicap his life, he means it. On a water ski designed by Shadow, which specializes in adaptive recreational equipment for the disabled, Nichols is always trying to do the unexpected for a paraplegic. Greg's exploits may seem like he's hot-dogging it, but his intentions are to motivate those like him. His college major, even before the accident, was occupational therapy. And always one to look for the silver lining in a dark cloud, Greg feels his accident may have been destiny calling. I always wanted to help other people, and for this, something like this to happen, you know, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, but uh, like I said, it just makes me want to do it even more. The Rehab Institute of New Orleans is where Greg spent most of his time getting his life back together. He says his therapist, Marie Owens, is his idol, and she even has Greg do demonstrations for other wheelchair patients. Greg's basically mastered the chair, and he can make quite an impact on those who are having a tough time adjusting to life in it. It's very motivating when he's here. Um, lots of patients like to talk to him, find out what's going on. They're really interested to know if they're the same level as him, and like, what he, wow, he can do this. And, and, and can I do that someday? So yes, very, very, I use him for that too. Greg says he's 100% independent. He drives everywhere, whether to school, the gym, or to just hang out. Just like a motorcycle, you know, a twist grip. It's a, it's a little bit more advanced. Next semester, Greg's going back to Northeast Louisiana to continue his education there. It'll be his first time away from home since the accident. But that shouldn't be a problem. Well, not really. I may be a little spoiled right now at home. I can get my mom, you know, get, hey, can you do this, do this, my laundry? You know, she does my laundry for me, and I guess that's going to start to change. So, but that's no problem, you know. That's just part of growing up. June 11th, Greg will enter his second wheelchair bodybuilding contest. This one's in Metairie. As he prepares for his second title, he can't help but think of what could be. Greg would love to walk again. He hopes science will make that possible. If not, well, that'll be just okay by him. I think before my day's up, they'll have something to cure uh, spinal cord injuries. Uh, I hope so, you know. If they don't, you know, they don't. You know, I'll just live it like this. But, I sh you know, I'm not going to, you know, dwell on that either, you know. So, one day, maybe, you never know.
the first place heavyweight winner, Greg Nickel. Jim Henderson, fourth down on four. And good luck to Greg. That is next Saturday, June 11th, here in Metairie. When we come back, we'll have all of the day's scores and LSU's bids to stay alive in the College World Series. Stay with us.